You know, one of my coaching students, this guy paid me 25 grand, goes to me, hey, Peter, I want a life like you. I know you didn't get there on accident. What do I got to do to create a life like this? And I'm just listening to his question. I'm like, God, that's so wise. Why don't more people think like this? I mean, 99% of society don't even sit down and take a look about where they're trying to go with their life, where they're trying to take their life. They never ask themselves, what's the most amazing life they could ever imagine? And if they do, they get stuck up on how it's going to happen. And just because they don't have an answer today, they decide to give up on the the whole thing and they end up stuck in a job that they don't like with a relationship that they hate with a body that's completely destroying their their experience of the life they never discovered lifestyle design and today i'm going to share with you my system for turning your dreams into a reality it's a three-step system it's a three-step system and it's the same thing i use to go from this d student broke skateboarder to live in multiple dream lives i've always envisioned and really it all comes down to just three little simple chunks. One, getting clear on your life vision. What's the most amazing life you could ever imagine? Two, setting up the habits, the rituals, daily routines you are going to take to move the needle every single day. And then three, keeping your eye on the prize, the most important and stick around to the end and make sure you got this last concept and the tips from it, keeping your eye on the prize, not falling off the wagon, which is the mistake that everyone makes. Let's dive into the first. Step one, lifestyle design. My favorite quote, life's not about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself. I want you to sit down, grab a coffee, put a smile on your face, chest up, eyes open, feel really good about this thing. Put yourself in this positive state. We're gonna start coming up with, if you could wave a magic wand, what's the most amazing life you could ever create in the next three years? And again, the important thing is start with this epic state. You don't wanna come in here just like, oh, I feel like I'm not where I wanna be. This is happening, this has happened. I was supposed to be the year that guy's where I wanna be. This is more successful. For the hit. Bro, we don't have time to think about that, right? Cry me a river, build a bridge, get over it. Let's get it working. I know that stuff sucks, but you just gotta start working at it. Stop thinking about it. It's that you got dealt these hands. You gotta play the game regardless of what hands you gotta dealt. So sit down, get your coffee, put yourself in a stoked state of mind, like a childlike state of mind. You know, not this like adult already just blocked in and all these kind of things. A child, a child would be like, I want a boat. I want two boats. I want three boats. I wanna do all these things. I wanna go here, there, there. I want to be an astronaut. I want you to sit down in this positive, childlike state of abundance where anything is possible and any dream you could ever have would come true. And just by doing this once, you are gonna be ahead of 99% of society. People who just go with the wind, go with the flow, end up in a life they don't like. They have no clue about where they're gonna be in a year. They don't wanna even think about it. They're too afraid to even look about it. You're gonna be 99% ahead of all those people. Now, if you wanna go hardcore, check out my goal setting workshop. This is where we do a real, real deep dive into everything, all the goals, and we go super hardcore here. One thing I like to do is getting a whiteboard. Get yourself a whiteboard over here and write down what's the most epic life I could ever imagine and mind map out, you know, your health and fitness, your career, your finances, your relationships, the toys and fun, the character, who you are as a person and the way you're gonna contribute to the world. Start with a mind map. Now take that Sharpie and keep filling it in. Health and fitness, 200 pound, lean, mean, jacked and juicy machine, tan, sexy, 12% body fat, amazing. What's your career goals? I wanna be one of the greatest YouTubers of all time. What's your profit goals, what's your finances? What are your relationship goals? What are your, your fun toy goals? What are your character goals as a person? What are your contribution goals? How do you wanna to contribute to the world? Go ahead and start mapping out and start to get your vision for the most epic life in this chapter of your life right now. You can do it on the whiteboard or you can do it on a document inside of Notion. You wanna put it in a place where you'll be able to see it a year from now, somewhere where you'll be able to run into it a year from now. This isn't some permanent life you're gonna create. This is just this chapter of your life that you're, you're gonna create. The most amazing chapter of your life you're gonna create right now. I'm doing this right now because we just moved into this new spot. Now I'm actually doing the same thing that you're doing right now. I just moved into this new house and just like every place I moved to, it's all about how do I create the most epic life I could possibly imagine in this place that I'm at right now. I go through this process every time with every house that I'm in. Now that you got the first draft to your life vision done, the next most important step is getting your habits in order. There's a quote that I absolutely hate. Men who move mountains begin by moving small stones. God, I hate that one, but it's so true. You have these big dreams and big visions 
the first thing you have to do is just move a pebble. Move the smallest, most insignificant little thing to get the momentum going. Because really, any goal being achieved just comes down to knowing where you wanna go and endlessly moving towards that goal forever for the rest of your life until that goal has been accomplished. Even if you think it'll never work for you, even if you think it'll never happen ever, you still have to move towards that goal. I remember failing my seventh business and just noticing how terrible I was at the whole business thing. And I had to seriously ask myself this question, Peter, if there's a serious chance that you will never succeed, you will never succeed, you will never make it work, you, you will fail over and over and over again, would you still do it if you knew you were going to fail for the rest of your life? And I was like, fuck yes, I would still do it because it's still all the pain of failure is still not as painful as that dead end, mediocre, pussy ass fucking job that will just suck your soul dry for the rest of eternity. Yes, I will continue to go down even, just even if I'm never meant to succeed. So you gotta keep going. So you gotta come to terms with yourself. You will move towards these goals, towards this vision, no matter what, every single day until it becomes a reality. You don't have to know how you're gonna do it. All you have to know is that you're gonna do it. So what habits do you need to have in order to turn any goal into reality. There's really only two habits you actually need to have. One, every single day coming up with what are the three most important things I can do to move the needle to take one, take me one step closer towards that goal. That is the first habit that you have to have every single day to make these goals happen. The second one is who already achieved this goal that I can begin study? Who is the person who already created this goal and made it happen that I can begin to study? That is the second habit that you must have. It's very common to have absolutely no clue how you're gonna accomplish a goal. And when you don't know what to do, the only thing left to do is go and study, is literally head to the Barnes and Noble section, go look at the sales section, go look at the business section, go look at the marketing section, and just find the book that is gonna spark your soul, that is gonna light you up and begin studying. When you don't know what to do, the only thing left to do is studying. For me, back in the day, I wanted to become the young supercar guy. I wanted to be a millionaire. I wanted to make $50,000 every two weeks. I looked online and I was like, there's only three guys, right? There are three types of people, young, this age who are doing it. The traders, the affiliate marketers, and the poker players. So go back to your mind map, go back to your whiteboard and just write, what are the three most important actions I can take on every single little one of those goals that you just wrote down and start putting together your plan of attack there. And the third and final and most important piece is keeping your eye on the prize, not falling off of the wagon, keeping on the wagon and staying consistent. This is the killer. This is the real killer. I mean, everybody writes their goals down at the beginning of the year. Everybody knows they have to do that, but the reason why it doesn't come true or it doesn't happen is because they fall off the wagon, they put it, in like a, a binder somewhere that they never look at ever again in the rest of their life, the more often you see your goals, the more likely it is for them to come true. This is why vision boards are so powerful and this is why we're gonna start making a vision board right now. You need these goals, not only in word format, but in picture format because your subconscious mind sees in pictures. And when you know why on a deep level, you're committed to achieving all of these goals and what's gonna happen in your life if you don't accomplish these goals and the horrific feelings you're gonna experience if you never make this happen, that is what's gonna kick on your subconscious mind and have ideas start flowing to you. It's the clarity of what the goals are, why you must achieve it, and all the fucking pain that's gonna to happen to you if you don't actually achieve it. Once you have clarity on those pieces, your subconscious mind will begin to come in. So the first thing is getting the pictures. I want you to go on Pinterest, go on Google Images, and find an image that relates perfectly with the goal you're looking to create. And I want you to print it out and I want you to put it on a vision board. I made my first vision board 10 plus years ago and 90% of it came true. It was insane. It was almost like anything you put on the vision board comes true. The more often you see a goal, especially in a picture format, the more likely it is to come true. That's why now at my house, I have my visions, vision boards everywhere. I went to the next level with vision boards because I saw how powerful it is to constantly be priming your subconscious mind. Staying on the wagon is about 
keeping your eye on the prize. Again, it's about just seeing the goals everywhere, having affirmations in your shower, having them all over the place so you're constantly seeing this vision so you can never forget. One of my favorite movies is the movie Rockstar. It was this guy obsessed with becoming one of the biggest rock stars of all time and he's living at his parents, like he's still living at his mom's house and there's the first scene as he wakes up and you can see he's obsessed with it. He has posters everywhere. Every single place he looks, he sees his vision and he sees this life. Every day he's triggered and reminded by the goal that he has. So it's easy for him to think about what's the next steps he can begin taking right now to move him towards your goal. And that's the same thing I want with you. Vision boards everywhere, pictures of the life you're creating everywhere. Make it so it's so easy to constantly remember what the life you're creating is. That a stranger should be able to come over to your house and know exactly what your goals are, what kind of life you're creating, and what you're all about without you saying a word, just the vision boards alone. So that's it, that's my lifestyle design system to take your goals and turn them into reality. Again, I can't stress it enough. Get clear, get clear on the actions you have to take and then create a space so that you're easily able to see your goals and make them come true. This is Peter Kell, hit the subscribe button, like this video, something amazing is about to happen. I'll see you in the next one.